Hey guys! So we've already done our prep on our Brussels sprouts and I put them in the microwave and I maybe did them three minutes and we'll pull them out in a sec. Now I've already taken my mushrooms and I've sliced them. So I just wanted to let you see what I did. I just sliced every little mushroom. I put down a little bit of uh, olive oil in the bottom of my pan. You can also use butter. But please use real butter. Don't use margarine. It's better for your body. So I'm going to set my little mushrooms in there and I've got them on four. I'm going to probably turn them up. I like them a little, uh, a little bit more cooked, but I don't want them mushy. I don't know how to describe that. I'll let those cook for a few minutes. And then as I do that, I'm just going to add fresh tomatoes, which I told you earlier, I just cut in half. So those tomatoes, I don't have fresh basil tonight. So I use this stuff called uh, Gourmet Garden. It's fresh basil, basically. And I just give it a little squeeze so you feel like you have fresh basil. Maybe it's a tablespoon, give or take. Um, I also use a little bit of fresh salt. And when I say a little bit, it's a pinch. I don't like a lot of salt. So a little salt just to give it a little flavor. Kind of stir that around. I have a little unicorn pepper grinder, which I love, love, love. My favorite pepper grinder in the planet. Give it a couple cranks. And like I said, oh my gosh, that basil smells amazing. Throw more tomatoes in there. If you think you need a liquid, um, you can add butter or a little bit of white wine. Neither of those will hurt you. It'll help create just a little bit of a sauce. And you're going to let that cook for just a few minutes. Just keep tasting. Taste, taste, taste. Once your mushrooms are done to your liking, they're done. That's all you're going to do, guys. So with that being said, I've taken my Brussels sprouts. I put them in my steamer, and I steamed them in my microwave for about three minutes. Just cut them. Taste them. They're not done. I like mine a little bit more al dente. Put it back in. So I'm going to put them back in. I did three minutes so far. I did quite a bit of of uh, Brussels sprouts, so I'm just gonna add another minute. To this little mixture, I have capers. I normally would cut these in half, but you don't have to. Just do a couple little, little bit of caper in there. I did three because I like capers. That will add salt, so if you don't use a lot of salt, that's okay. The capers will do it for you. Like I said, I just kind of turn this up. You can smell that gorgeous smell. This is a little cheater. This was my dinner last night. It's just my husband and I. It's not like anybody else is gonna eat it. So I had a Greek salad. I'm just gonna throw in the rest of the little tomatoes and the onions that were left over in that salad. There's a little parsley in here. I'll probably just eat the, the uh, cucumber that was left over. Throw the parsley in there. Won't hurt anything. To this, I'm going to also use my leftover dinner. And the bottom of my Greek salad happened to be a little bit of dressing. So, sorry I'm using my fingers. Just throw that dressing in there too. None of that will hurt the flavor. Cook that up. When this is done, we're gonna put it right on top of those Brussels sprouts and put it on a plate. Here's the other little cheat that I do. There's my rotisserie chicken that I just got at Costco about an hour ago. So it is still nice and toasty warm. I will put my Brussels sprouts down. I'll put a little piece of chicken and I will use this like a little sauce on top. From there, I take a good quality olive oil. I will sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on top. Then I'll take my little grater. I use a zester. It gives it a finer grate. And I take some fresh parm. I'll grate that on top. Put a little salt and pepper. Manja, manja. You're done. Enjoy your meal.